Today we're back looking some crazy car rings. Because you do not have my permission to record me. And you are? It doesn't matter who I am. Oh, you're, 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 you're the boss of the post office? No. Oh, okay, but thank I you. I am an individual and I do not find this the, I, I understand, ma'am, but this is a public place. I'm not, them. I'm not, film, I'm not filming you. No. You're, being, you're under camera everywhere you go, ma'am. I'm on their camera, not yours. Look, what's the difference? Differences is this is their camera, government, yours is not. Okay, I actually published my if videos. I am on that video, please delete it. Okay, so who's sorry, the car in here? It's obviously not her, Tim. Let's be respectful to each other. I haven't disrespected I you. Respectfully to delete it if I am on that camera. Ma'am, you cannot bark orders at strangers. I asked you. If you I am on it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to give me your car keys so that I can borrow your car yeah. for the rest of the day. Go for it. I can borrow it? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Okay, let him borrow it. What do you need it for? I don't know. How'd you get here? How'd I get here? Yeah, that oh, car parked out there. Work van. Are you a police officer? No, but my husband is law enforcement. Oh, I, I can tell because of your, your, the way that you're speaking. Mm -hmm. I'm just I can to tell. Calm down the situation. De-escalating. Record me, and he's still recording. Well, you could talk to your husband. By he's law, by law, he's, he's able you. to do. Officials, that. I'll show you the rules. Why don't we just go to the what rules? Show me. The, okay. Come on, I'll show you the rules. Yes, yeah, so the guy behind the camera is definitely the car in here. On the wall. He's purposely you winding see? her up. I asked what? him not to record me. Say it. Record he's me. he's right. He he's here. right. As I asked him, they I asked him they not to okay. record me. Hi. Could you please explain this um, this lady that we have the right to video record in the lobby? Uh, he can. She can I video asked record. Him very nicely to not record me you're in a public place yes okay. that's, that's thank you and right. there's no reason of, there's no you don't have that right to privacy when you're in a public place oh, oh. that's all thank I mean, that's you all. That's you just... you are the man you are the man well, what's your name sir just don't interrupt no I no don't no. You interrupt my, no no i'm just i'm just really and... happy to have you here what's your name okay my name's craig oh. Cra Postmaster Craig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in my opinion, the woman in that video isn't really a car and it's basically him. I'm gonna guess he's one of them people that walks around filming people just to try to get a reaction from them. See, I hate Karen's, but you're being the one here. It's anyone's right to not be filmed by random people. Freedom is being understood in the wrong way. Okay, so that comment is kind of wrong. If you're in a public place, anyone can record you. That's the way the laws are in America. Now, there are people who go out of their way to abuse them laws and just wind people up. I see people like him all the time going around their local town and just filming people eating their food. Do you imagine you're out with your mum eating lunch and some random man comes up and starts videoing you and basically talking to you. You'd probably react the same way as her. I don't care for these Karens. I think a lot of these people recording are just trying to piss people off so they can post the video for likes and comments. That's exactly what he's doing. Like, he'll never admit to it, but his whole goal is to go out of his way just to wind people up. It's what they do. I think they're auditors. I think that's the American version. Or is it First Amendmenters? It's one of them too. Basically, he goes out of his way to wind people up and then they end up calling the police and get told, yeah, what he's doing isn't illegal. Even though we all think it should be. The day my mom let a Karen have it at IHOP in Mission TX, she sent back her Played four times, made four times. Cry, and ruin our breakfast. At what point is it your own fault? We've been here for an hour and a half. Why are you going to send a plate back four times? That is shocking. Like, I can understand one. Four times. Oh, and she's crying. Oh, no. That's terrible. Yeah, that really is terrible, isn't it? You know, if your food isn't done correctly, I can understand why you might send it back. Sending it back four times, like, come on. And then the thing is, in situations like that, that waitress is going to get shouted at by her manager, even though she probably hasn't done anything wrong. As a former IHOP waitress, these tables are the worst. Thank you for standing up for servers. I mean, the fact that the girl was crying in front of all them women, and they're a lot older, and they look like they didn't care. You know, some people in this world can be brutal. The waitress wiping tears and trying to smile broke my heart. I know how bad the anxiety is knowing you have to go back and continue to serve them. And then also the fact that your manager is probably going to be proven down your back because you annoyed them customers. And then the way them customers treated you, you know, it'll always be in the back of your mind. And then I can guarantee you they didn't tip her as well, so they just are overall nasty customers. This used to be my grandmother. It was fairly embarrassing going anywhere with her. Then she spent her last years alone in retirement home. I mean, I always say this whenever it comes to people like that. You still have to act like that out in public. They're much worse behind closed doors. Imagine that being your auntie, your granny, your mom. She doesn't give off the best vibes, does she? I don't care if I go to jail because some of the coolest people I ever met were in jail. Some of the realest, smartest, most intellectual people. Kevin Gates? You don't know who Kevin Gates is, do you? I don't think he yeah, does. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to say. Yo ass silent. Silent dagger Freemason. Police officers always want to target the pretty boys. 
And free R. Kelly, too. That's that's another thing R. I forgot Kelly. to say. Because y'all locked R. Kelly up, and R. Kelly's innocent. R. Kelly never hurt, no, never did nothing to nobody. Free the greatest, the greatest artist of all time, a musical genius. Free R. Kelly, bro. He wanted to make music that actually had soul. That was talking about positivity. Yeah, I'm going to be in jail with my hero, R. Kelly. Hey, why don't y'all just kill me? If y'all got that much of a problem with me, why don't y'all just shoot me? Y'all got a gun, right? Y'all are some weak feminine, closeted, bicep. Freemasons. Well, I'm not stupid. My third eye open. The f you gonna do? Take me to the psych ward for that sh For saying that my third eye open. Your third hole is gonna oh. open in jail, darling. And I'm talking about the one downstairs. Have you ever watched like an animation where like one of the characters is literally sitting like an empty black room and is rolling back and forth going crazy? Like I feel like he was having a little bit of an episode there. Free R. Kelly as well. I mean, R. Kelly would love him. R. Kelly having someone like him in his cell, that would literally be a dream. Oh. There's no one home right now. That's not true. No. I just saw you walk in the house. Ooh, soccer car. I need you to move your car because I have a tow truck coming in about two minutes. I'm That's why sure I cleared the no place in front of the I'm car. I'm sure that there's Please no one at my house right now. Please move your car. Is there any way you can get the car moved? No, I'm sorry. Is there any way you can get right the now? I'm the ones at work right now. I'm what? sorry. Well, I need somebody to move the car. I just had I'm it cleared. Ma'am, I did not know this Please at the beginning of the morning. I am at Please work. Everyone in my house is... I cannot. I am at work. I'm going to have them tow your car if you don't if get you somebody here to move it. Car, I will call the cops on you. You will not touch my car. Oh, okay. So I don't really know what's going on there. I'm going to guess maybe that woman is moving out. And like the woman inside the house's car is blocking her entrance. I don't really know. If she's parked legally, how can they tow the car? You just answered your own question in that comment, aka they can't. My neighbor somehow convinced a tow company to tow my car from public street. He got nailed with vehicle theft and the company is out of business. And that is why you cannot be manipulated by these cars. You know, a lot of these cars are very, very manipulative. The tow car company probably knows that what they're doing is wrong, yet they'd still do it and then end up getting in trouble for it. People knocking on my door like that always trigger me. I'm not joking. If someone knocked on my door like that, I'd be opening the door with a knife. I wouldn't even be opening the door. I'd be looking for the envelope slip. Educate yourselves. You need some How am I doing? Am I pretty cute? Ooh. You're really close to Are me. you afraid? You I, should run away. I don't like But you have you your super mask on. I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> I don't need protection from you. Oh, you just touched me. I oh, really wish no, you Oh, no, I touched you. They're kind of like mini chickens, aren't I they? I got COVID. No, you're probably going to give it to me. <laughs> Are you going to leave? Look at you. Are you going to leave the store? Are you going to leave the store? Are you going to leave the store? It's literally so easy. Like if you disagree with the rules, you're allowed to disagree. Oh, However, you have to follow them. Right. When you, when I, if I ever come back here again, and this thing is proven to be a hoax, I want an apology from each and every one of you. Don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Educate yourself. Nobody is sick. Oh, trust me, I got COVID back when it was proper going around. It was bad. And read and learn. It still kind of blows my mind that people do think COVID was fake. Did they ever get COVID? I mean, I got it and trust me, I was knocked out for about four days. I'm pretty healthy. And then yet again, if you disagree with the mask rules, you're entitled to disagree with mask rules. It's just a rule. You have to follow it. You know, if you don't follow the rule, you're not going to get into the store. It's kind of like smoking inside. You know, you're not allowed to smoke inside. During that time, if you didn't have a mask on, you weren't allowed inside the shop. Y'all, Karen is showing out in Trader Joe's. She does not have on a mask. And oh, another anti masker. A lot of these videos are from 2020, I think. Trader Joe's. This is day one. This is opening day of Trader Joe's in North Hollywood. This is Karen. This is an opening day as well. All these parents seem to have breathing problems and anger issues as well. We got it. 
Yet again, COVID really did bring out the insanity in people. You had people like that throwing tantrums every day. If she got a breathing problem, why is she yelling and wasting breath? I mean, let's be honest, she can't really be logistical with them. Yells at the top of her lungs, I have a breathing problem. She might actually have a breathing problem, that's the thing. Her doctor might actually, you know, recommend her not wearing a mask. That is fine, however, you have to have a doctor's note to prove that. It literally is so simple, but yet again, these people didn't want to follow the rules. And it was always people in Western countries. It was always people in Britain, Ireland, Canada, America. If you go to Asia, they're all wearing masks. And do you want to know why? It's because they actually were. Well, anyways, guys, it's really fat video there. That's some Karen's. If we seem like a more Karen's, so you definitely will. Please check out, subscribe, and see you all tomorrow for another video.